Welcome back to more Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town, everybody. We are going to go to bed um, because it's really late at night, so I did do some, just a little bit of, you know, developing my skills like usual. Made some more money, of course. All those damn common mushrooms. Lots of money, lots of money. All right, so today we're going to make some pretty good progress, I think, with um, but, well, with, with a couple things. Uh, the first, actually, wait, is there a cutscene? It just turned like a black loading screen. Usually that doesn't happen until you actually leave the house. Okay, it's definitely a cutscene. It's a long loading screen now. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Oh, is this, is this like a part two to that final town request? Fireworks? It's not best of all time, is it, girls? No, I don't think so. I wonder what that occasion is. What indeed? Hmm, good point. Shiny, this is all thanks to you. We couldn't have done it without you. With your help, Olive Town has grown leaps and bounds, and now, and now, the luxury liner has finally made its way to our shores. What? Crazy. There it is. There's the luxury liner. Wait, so like that means we completed the main story of the game, I'm pretty sure. Take a good look at it. That ship has been all over the world, docking at the po uh, ports of countless countries. Different peoples from different lands have boarded that ship, all hoping to travel and discover something new in that ship. The very ship has finally docked on our shores. I can see that. Damn. Welcome to Olive Town, everyone. We've got plenty of vacancies at the Gold's Rest Hotel. Come on in and stay a while. If you've got time to spare, take a moment to rest at our cafe. You won't want to miss out on their locally sourced coffee. Why not stop by and spend some time with our animals? Their friendly faces are sure to cheer you up right up. Yep. Guess so. We've got souvenir flowers here. They make the perfect gifts for loved ones. And these flowers also resist sirens, unlike Delta Shiny Zeta's videos. Oh. What beautiful flowers. Perhaps I'll buy myself a bouquet. Thank you very much. I cannot tell you how many years I've waited for this day to come. But this isn't the time to be shedding tears. No. This is where it truly begins. We'll keep building. We'll keep moving forward. Exactly. Like Rocky. Keep moving forward. You know, I actually know that whole quote. I really do know the whole quote. Yeah. This is where we'll truly grow. And I know you'll be there with us every step of the way, Shiny. It ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit. Remember that? So the whole the whole quest, basically Rocky tells his son... I can't believe I'm talking about a fucking Rocky movie here during the credits of this game. But I really am, okay? So, you know, his son's like complaining, you know? And Rocky, he tells his son... <clears throat> Let me, let me clear my throat here. <clears throat> let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or no one is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward, how much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you went where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. And that is an amazing quote. It's a really long quote. But boy is it amazing. And yes, that was just mentioned in the credits of Pioneers of Olive Town by me. You won't find this kind of content anywhere else, people. A YouTuber referencing Rocky during a Pioneers of Olive Town credit sequence. Wow. Okay. Anyway. That's the game. Let's play over. I'm just kidding. No, it's not. Um, so there's obviously still a lot of stuff I want to do, you know. I'm still trying to level up all those tools, you know, to so I can keep unlocking additional islands. 
um, so I can then show off those places. Obviously, marriage is coming soon. I believe Rena's at eight and a half hearts when she gets to ten, and they watch all the cutscenes. I just have to propose with the blue feather. Got to buy the blue feather, and then give it to her. And obviously, I also want to keep filling up that museum with you know photos, um, fishing, as well as uh, treasures. So. It's, it's getting there slowly but surely, and we're already in episode 46. I mean, the beginning of episode 46. We'll see what we what kind of progress we make this time. But um, it's it's a long game if you want 100% and do everything. And the other thing, too, is that there's DLC coming for this game. Um, and I am going to be playing the DLC. You know, don't you worry about that. I definitely am. So, um, the other thing, too is that it's only the end of fall. There's still a whole nother month, and typically what I do with Harvest Moon Let's Plays, if you've actually watched various different ones on my channel, um, and a lot of the ones that are longer to like show everything, just longer to 100% or complete, uh, what I end up doing essentially is I do play one full year of, you know, uh, very very consistent. You'll, you'll get the occasional time in between episodes where like I skip a day here or there of just grinding, like I've been doing in this Let's Play, you know, like it's like fall, the 15th and the next video is like fall to fall the 17th you know something like that that's fine because i'll tell you oh in the fall 16th all i did was grind up some logging some reaping and whatever you know and do my daily routine of watering crops attending my animals and that's it you know so i mentioned that so other than that it's basically a very you know smooth streamlined one year of playing however um the other thing that I also do in my Let's Plays for Harvest Moon titles <clears throat> is the fact that after I finish one year and I watch like the New Year's festival, a New Year's scene or whatever, all that, what I then end up doing is I start to do bigger cuts in between. Like it can be spring 1st and then it's like spring 8th or something, you know, because I'm starting, I, I eventually go into a more progressful mood of showing highlights, very basically important things because by by the time you've played one year in Harvest Moon, you've done most of the stuff that is like quote unquote new. Like you've unlocked everything, you've unlocked all the areas, you've shown off everything, you know, you've seen most cutscenes, you've, uh, you, you, like, you get the point, you know, you've done mostly every significant thing in the game, and there's only a couple significant things left, but those things require so much grinding that they're so spaced out apart. And that's essentially what I do with my videos, how I start just putting things more together, you know, like, like, oh, you know, um, this from this day and this from that day were really far apart. Well, I'm going to avoid these six days in between that I did literally nothing except the same routine you've seen 3,000 times already, you know? So that's what I like to do. It speeds up the, the game. It also makes it a little bit less tedious and monotonous for all of you because I do know from, you know, past comments from other Harvest Moon games, a lot of you do end up eventually fast-forwarding, um... Harvest Moon playthroughs, not just mine, but others as well, because it just becomes such a routine, such a monotonous routine, that you're like, well, you know, I'll just fast forward this, I just want to see the next cutscene, I just want to see, you know, shiny unlocking the next tool upgrade, or showing off the new island, you know, stuff like that, then I get that, I totally get that, which is why I try to appeal to as many of you as possible, I know I still get the occasional commenter that's like, don't cut anything, don't cut a single second of this game, I want to see literally every single second. And it's hard to peel everyone because, yes, I do get some of you who think like that, and that's perfectly fine, but the majority of my viewers don't like that, and I try to appeal to the majority of the viewers because you can't make everybody happy. That's one thing you will learn. If you ever are considering being a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer or, you know, anything like that, just know um, you have to get used to um, always getting critiques, criticism. You have to do it. I cannot tell you how many times I've gotten a criticism or critiques on current Let's Plays or very old Let's Plays, you know, comments from really old videos like, why the hell did you do this? Like, you're so dumb. And I'm just like, not much I can do about that, to be honest. You will get critiqued. You cannot make everybody happy in this world. It is literally impossible. And if you keep believing yourself that you can make everybody happy, you're only going to end up with frustration and being upset in the end because it's just impossible. You can't do it. You can't. Many people have tried. And let me tell you, they've all failed. There's not a single human being on this planet that is liked by everyone. That is literally a fact. Anyway, um, so I think that's enough of a little, you know, little, it's like a life lesson, but also like YouTuber slash Twitch streamer lesson or, you know, whatever it is that you want to do. So, okay, so it's raining again. 
It's now uh, autumn the 25th, as you can see, so I'm going to... let's see. I guess I can start by showing you where my logging is. Um, I really want to get this crap up there, like I really do. And I think it's going to be very important. I mean, maybe I should just start chopping trees like this, huh? It is going to net me some more experience because I'm so close. I am so close. I just need more and more trees, you know? Guess I'll take this stuff too. Oh yeah, by the way, foraging random stuff does improve your, your um, uh, feel, uh, feel work. Very slow, very, very slow, but it does do it. Uh, let's hit this one too, sure. But yeah, so I'm gonna get my login up there. I'm so freaking close. I'm just chopping all these small trees now because I'm close. I don't think I'm gonna get it today. I may have to wait until tomorrow, unfortunately. Um, oh god, yeah, it's going up so slow. Uh, the other thing too is I believe the quality of trees does actually affect um, the speed at which this happens. Like, if you are chopping away bigger tree or tougher trees, then you actually develop your logging a little bit faster. Because it gives you quote-unquote more experience, you know? So, yeah. Can I hit all three here? I can. I've also been trying to ugh, get these damn stumps, but... Oh well. Oh well, you know, maybe I should hit the stumps. To get some extra experience. Oh my god, I'm so close. I am so close. Look at that. Oh jeez. Maybe I should hit them then. Wait, is there a is there a freaking what's it called? A mirage tree over here? Oh there's a small one. Should I chop it? Oh my god, there's small ones. They are literally small ones. I think I should chop them this time. I think I should. It'll give me the experience that I need. Pretty sure. Come on. Got it. Yes. Logging level up. I did it. Alright, so what happens with this? Profit increase for logs and lumber. What? Do those things even sell for a lot of money? I'm not actually sure. Chest and picnic table, and then we got one more level. However, the big thing with this is that we are going to unlock a new location, so it was important that I did that. Um, I'm going to take care of my animals, and then we're going to go into the town after, so we can go ahead and give some gifts to people, you know? Okay. Oh shoot, I may be running out of space, actually. Oh crap, I'm out of space. Um, well then, that's a little awkward. I gotta, I gotta get rid of something garbage, like sap. Yeah, you know, screw this sap. I'm gonna place that, and I also have to get rid of like a peppercorn, I guess, you know? Because these sell for a lot more money, it's much better to take these. Wait, did I talk to you again? Yes, I did, okay. Alright, so give me that milk. And then there's, okay, so this here is gonna fill up my inventory again, but I believe, um... There's another item I... Uh, oh wait, no, it's only goat milk, it's fine, it's fine. That's gonna stack up. And then there's you, which did not give me any wool, so that's perfectly fine. Okay. Now there are eggs, but before I go to my chickens, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get rid of some items. Uh, here I guess I can, yeah, just go ahead and keep doing that. Oh, there were more trees over here. Whoops. My bad. I guess I maybe didn't need to chop those Mirage Lumbers so soon, but it's fine. Okay, so we're going to ship that. We're just going to ship some chestnuts and stuff. That's fine. Um, and then that. we got to put a lot of flowers away. We're definitely piling up on flowers. Eventually, I feel like I'm going to make a bunch of honey makers. I don't know. Maybe. It's possible. And then we also have a lot of logs and stuff, which I mean, makes sense. Okay, by the way, I haven't t told you about this, but... Um, Solid logs. I've actually, I'm actually beyond 999. Let me see how much these things sell for. How much do these things sell for? Especially now that I have a bigger profit. That is garbage. That is so garbage. Okay, we are not getting rid of those. Definitely not. They were good with that. Okay, we gotta go to our, go to our chickens now. 
And um, why did I run that way? Oh my god. And now we're gonna go into town. Possibly watch some cutscenes, maybe? I don't know, I mean... But I also want to keep giving gifts to people. Um, mostly Rena. she's the one who I'm prioritizing. I also thought about fishing a little bit, but... Fishing is just... Like, by this point it's really hard to get to all those last couple fish, you know? I know there's pl uh, plenty that are actually exclusive for the winter, so those will be coming soon, but... My god. Alright, so, let's just go ahead and uh, run straight up all the way, yeah, so we're at 80,000 by the way, which is only barely past the halfway point until we're down to the next tool upgrade, which is going to be the watering can more than likely. Alright, let's go ahead and prepare our iron ore. Okay, take that. Yeah, so our progress for communication is really down there as you can see. Uh, this I believe I got a new title. Yep, gold, and three more gold for completing all town development projects. And in here, one glass. Why the hell? Wait, is that Mikey? Why would you want glass? Your mom is going to yell at you. Kids shouldn't be playing with glass. Alright. Hello, Beth. Here, take this. And then you can take that. Wow. Alright, so let's see how far Arena is now. She shouldn't be close to 9. Yep, she's 8 and 3 fourths of the way. Okay, uh, no appraisals, no nothing. I don't, wait, uh, no, nothing, nothing. Nothing new yet. Okay. And I guess, I mean, we can walk around here to try and trigger a cutscene. If we do find one, I don't know if we will. Oh, we are, okay. Yo, Beth, what you up to? Hello, Lars. I thought it was prime time to go on a field survey. So that's the plan for today. A field survey? You mean of the ancient ruins? Man, you can be such a nerd, you know that? I don't think it's just a nerd thing. Any inquisitive mind would do the same. Sorry to keep you waiting. Are you ready to go? Yes. Hold up, Ralph. I'll take her today. Stop, Lars. Ralph and I are just co-workers, so we don't need to be so concerned. No, I know, but just this once, I want you to give me a tour. I bet I can learn a ton from you, and you can show me everything you love about the ruins. What, really? It's your call, Beth. I'm not quite sure what the best option is. Here, on one hand, I could go with Ralph as usual to get my work done. Efficiency is important when you're surveying. Still, an offer like that from Lars comes once a blue moon. Oh, what to do? Uh, actually, I just remembered I have something urgent on my agenda today. Sorry, Beth, we'll have to do this another time. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ralph, what the hell, dude? <laughs> Wait, Ralph. Oi. He was just trying to be polite or something? Well, I guess that settles that. We'll have to go together now. <laughs> What's all this have to business? Yeah, seriously, I picked that up too. Wow. Alright, well, um, let's go... let's go in here. Nope, no cutscene from here. Oh well. Well, there's people here at least. Here, I'll give you some gifts. Take it. It would have been nice if like, if, like, watching events also gives you a boost in communication, a small little boost, you know? But I don't think that's actually true. Like, I'm pretty sure that's not- I watch plenty of, of events, but... Nothing. I don't think anyone else is here. There's, there usually isn't. It's just them two. Um, whoa, another cutscene. Shiny, just what I wanted to see. Seeing how you're one of the newest residents of this town, I have a request for you. So this might sound odd, but could you ask people what they think about my husband? What? That is a really odd request. Oh yes, Norman's such a nice man. We buy all our ingredients from his shop, actually. He's always got such great products lined up. It's been a big help for me in the cafe. Oh, Norman? We'll talk every once in a while about movies and such. He hardly leaves his shop, and I'm always manning the hotel, though. It's like we both work 24-7. But I'd like to grab a meal with him sometime. Tell him that for me, would you? Norman, yeah, I spot him fishing every so often. As far as I can tell, though, I don't think he manages to catch all that many fish. 
He told me once that he's happiest when he's just relaxing outside since he's almost always indoors managing the store. That's a sentiment I can relate to for sure. Hmm. Okay. It sounds like he's doing well for himself here. I'm glad to hear that. Sorry I had to I had to go to all that trouble. I can only come here on my days off, so I worry from time to time if he's getting along with the other townsfolk. But it seems like my worries were misplaced. Everyone seems to like him. Anyway, I'm grateful for your help. Thank you. Okay, that was very random, but cool. Cool. Alright, um, over here we got Laura. Sure. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and give you this here. Uh, let's see if there's a cutscene on the beach. Usually there's a lot that trigger on the beach. Uh, not this time, though. Not this time. Okay, I doubt anybody's fishing because it's raining. Nobody's out. Mm, I suppose we'll go in this building. There's always like a lot of people in here. It's a great way to, you know, boost up your communication because you always get, or not always, usually can get four people from this building. Which is really good, of course. Really, really good. Okay, and then you. All right. And then you as well. Emilio. Take that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure um, the level 10 trait for communication is going to be an even bigger friendship boost, which is great, you know? That's really good. Let's go in here. Nothing from here, that's fine. Okay, I take that. Is anybody else in here? Ah, oh, you're here. Oh my god, you're coming from upstairs. Is anyone else upstairs? It's possible, huh? I actually have to check. Because I don't actually know. No, you can't even go in that door over there, so whatever. Alright, so that's another building down. Oh wait. Cutscene. The hell? Oh? I haven't seen this doll around before. Cindy, come here. What is it, Mom? You made this doll, didn't you? Why did you leave it here? To sell it in the shop, of course. Do you want to sell it? Hmm, if I work real hard, I can make one a week. That way I can um, keep up customer demand. That's not the issue here, sweetheart. You need to discuss these things with me before you go off and do them on your own. But it wasn't just me. Grandpa told me I should do it. Or gra Grandma, my bad. <laughs> What's all the fuss for, Angela? I don't... See the harm in one little doll. But mom, that's... See, I made one that looks just like Cindy's. Wowie, now we can make two a week. I don't care how many you make. This is a general store, not a toy shop. No one's going to buy them. They will, too. I think the one I made is a strong contender as well. Not you too, mom. Alright, if you two feel that strongly about it, I won't stop you. Go ahead and put them on the shelf. Yay! Oh, welcome. Sorry you had to see all that fuss. Hey, Shiny, I made a doll. It's on sale if you're interested. Cindy, please. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, um, so I don't think anyone else is here. So I, I guess we may maybe got Angela up to the proper hearts from that gift. Because in order to trigger a scene, it's not just about getting them up to that level. You also have to zone into the area. So like, if you get somebody to four hearts, and it's a four heart scene there, it's not going to trigger. You have to leave the area and actually go back in. That's what happened. I went up to the room and I went back down and it triggered. Ooh. Yeah, this is also another building where there's a lot of people. There's, There can be up to four people in this building too, I've noticed. So that's good. Okay. Um, but that's about it for that right there. Alright, we can leave. I think we're good. Um, oh, another cutscene. Okay. I was actually just about to leave. Hello, Shiny. Do you have some free time right now? I know it's sudden, but I wanted to thank you for your help with Catherine. Catherine the cow? Catherine the sheep? It's the sheep, right? My sheep's name is France. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, I thought I'd treat you to a meal at the bistro today. Would that be alright with you? Sure. Oh, dear. Am I presentable? You're fine. I don't, um, smell like animals, do I? I shower three times, but I can't tell a difference anymore my, myself, so... Welcome, Bridget. What are you doing here? I have your seats ready for you. Um, but I smell, so... Smell? Don't worry about that. You both smell wonderful. Now, come on in. Hmm. 
Welcome, Bridget. Take your time and relax. Ooh, is that makeup I see on you? I hardly ever catch you all dolled up like this. I wear makeup sometimes too, you know. Hmm. <laughs> you know, I always thought you preferred the company of animals over people. Well, that's not entirely in incorrect, I suppose. So I think I'm treating you two to a special three-course meal of my own creation. Make sure you enjoy every last bite. I really appreciate your company today. I've always wanted to try a restaurant like this, and it was nice to have someone to go with. If you don't mind, I hope you and I can be friends. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, we'll be friends. Cool. All right. Let's, um... I mean, I thought I was dumb. Well, is there really going to be anything else? Like, here there's Nigel's place, but... Oh, it's your day off. It's Wednesday, I see. Here, take this. Okay? And I can go, um... I guess in this one... Yeah, so I was actually getting told in the comments that Sydney is actually by far one of the hardest um, uh, people in this game to befriend because she is hardly in, she's in town like once a week. That's ridiculous. That's so ridiculous. All right, we'll go in here. I don't think anyone is. Yeah, I mean, Clemens is here. And is Lars here? He is actually here. Okay, good. Okay, now I think I'm done for today. I think I'm good. Let's get out of here. That was a good day of, you know, friendship boosting, I would say. Because uh, I, I am going to go to bed early in that case. Because I want to just show off the next uh, thing that's going to get unlocked. Which is going to be the... It's that new island place, whatever, for like... Getting your logging up to level 9, I believe you unlock it. Like that. Okay, we're also going to ship um, these. That's a good amount of money right there. Hell yeah. And we'll ship some of these. We haven't shipped some of these in a while, so we'll do that. Okay. And then we'll just put the rest here, I suppose. That's fine. And let's go to sleep. I mean, it was raining today, so we didn't have to water our crops. That did save us a little bit of time. That's good. Wow, Shiny, you've gotten so good at chopping wood, I have a secret present for you. Presents are always little things wrapped up in the box. I'm going to show you a place only Earth Sprites know about. I'll lead the way. Follow me. Okay. Where are we going? Oh, look at this place. This is the place. It's the Earth Sprite's secret logging area. We call it Woodcutter's Mountain. The trees here are really, really tough, but if you cut them, you'll get the best lumber ever. You can come visit and chop wood here at any time you'd like. So are all these like durable and mirage? Woodcutter's Mountain is a special location where you can chop wood to your heart's content. So yeah, just like the, you know, that other, what the hell's it called? Um, I can't even think right now, whatever. The the freaking Stonebreaker Valley, that's right. Now the nice thing about having Orichalcum is that you get to do this. Oh, what the hell, these are just regular logs. What is this? Okay, so we're going to see just how much we're going to build up um, our logging within one day of chopping like literally every freaking tree here. That's the nice thing, like I don't foresee it taking too long to get logging up to level 10 because there's so many trees here and then we can, you know, combine these with the ones over there so we'll be, we should be fine. Oh my god, dude. We'll go there. Okay, we actually didn't get as many. Whoa, wait, those are, um... Are those Mirage? Oh, Jesus Christ. Those are Mirage. Yeah, huge difference from Ori Calicum and Gold. I mean, if you have Gold, you're going to be taking significantly longer here. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, there's also, and there's the Mushrooms. So those are the big ones I was talking about. That's the other important reason why you want to, you know, come here. But yeah, so yeah, as long as these things respawn at a pretty decent pace, you should be able to build up that logging, you know, pretty quickly. 
Matutake mushrooms, so these are even better than common mushrooms for profit. Like, they really are. Okay, and I believe we're done here. Yep, so that's the place. You know, got the mushrooms and got a lot. Let's see how much we went up by. Look, so that's in one day's worth. That's... I mean, I was struggling to get from 8 to 9, but now I shouldn't be struggling too much to go from 9 to 10, I don't think. I mean, it'll still take a little while, but... You know, it's now it's not nearly as bad. So... Once you ship even one Matutake mushroom, what's nice about this is that... Oh, are they ready? Oh, they're not actually ready. Okay. What's nice about this is that... Look at that. A thousand. That's a big difference. That's a really big difference. Also, these are ready. Am I going to get a level up? I don't think so, right? Wait, there was no bear. I don't know how to get the bear to come. How do you get the bear to come? Did I get it? Did I level up? No. I mean, I'm already, uh, beekeeping is already pretty up there, that's why. But I'm gonna put these away. Um, and that means I have to get... Ooh, I, got, I got to start getting more flowers because I'm gonna run out. I can take these plus these just to mix up some good stuff here. Sure. Okay. And then we will just put the rest away. That's fine. So these are not done, but they should be done tomorrow. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, these are ready. Oh, nice. Okay, let's see how much we um fill up our field work. So we are close to the R in the in the word field work, and let's see how much this goes up by. That's between this and the fodder. All of it growing. Only bad thing about carrots is that they're not multiple yields, so I can, now I gotta buy more, you know? Getting lots of explorer sprites too. I'm, I'm at 90. I'm close to getting one of those four locations. You know? Oh my god, these trees are growing and they're in the way now. <laughs> oh jeez. Also, this, these are only giving one carrot each. The freaking peppers gave like four each. So I mean, are, are these like a lot more valuable in terms of price? These might not even be that good then. I don't know. But if you want to plant crops in the winter, I believe carrots are like one of the only crops in the game to be uh, crops for winter, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks. Oh my god, so much harvesting. So much. I haven't got any more explorer sprites. What the heck? Or have I? Maybe I've just been missing them. Well, let's see. This is this should put me very close to the next level, though. The, this and then all the watering as well. Well, I mean, by all the watering, I mean literally just four big waters, and that's it. But I'm definitely gonna buy more crops too. Gotta buy some more of those. Alright, and then we're good with all that right there. Alright, perfect. Then we're gonna water. And let's just see how much... How much our field work goes up by. Alright, ready? That's good, that's a good amount. We were like with the R. Yeah, that was a good boost right there and that's level eight to nine that's the second toughest level you know to build up there okay then we'll do that okay i'm gonna uh, do a cut take care of my animals a, a couple routine stuff okay cutscene time i just came over here down here let's what's gonna happen yo shunny i was about to go on a solitary journey want to join me i guess it wouldn't exactly be solitary then but hey you're like the wind about back you know whenever i got something to say you're there to listen you never blab about it to anyone else in town either so like you know how i'm dating beth the whole dating thing is actually really draining. Yeah, I know. Inviting her along would be the right thing to do, huh? If that's what the wind's whispering to me, then I guess that's what I gotta do. Oh, are you going somewhere, Lars? I was gonna decide, or I was gonna, but I decided not to. Here, try setting up on a bike. This might. Oh my god, I'm wording this all wrong. Are you sure?
That's a thumbnail right there. That's the thumbnail. It's gotta be. I don't know actually if it will, but that looks hilarious. Solitary journey together. Solitary journey together. They better not ruin the moment by pointing out the oxymoron. <laughs> oh, that's true. Sweet, one motorcycle coming right up. Now I just gotta get Ch uh, Clem. Cham. Who the hell's Cham? That's quite a lot to ask of him, you know? Yeah. Alright, so I came over here because Rena was actually over here. So, yeah, there she is. Uh, it's Thursday and I look at the map. Yeah, yeah, you gotta look at the map. People have been telling me to do that. And yeah, I've been doing that. Um, okay. We'll give that to you and then Karina's here. Yeah, they're, they're really good friends, Karina and Rena. They're always hanging out when they're not working, I've noticed. Alright, so with that, um, oh my god, all the tourists are here. I guess I can talk to all these people. But what I'm actually going to do is do another cut. Um, because I want to just go on to the next day really quick. Because I want to show you something. So, something real nice for sure. Alright, so I'm going to ship these 54 carrots and make 30,000 money. Nice. Very nice. I'm just, and then I'm going to go to bed too. Because before I end this video, I do want to show you just one thing. I believe another one of my skills is going to uh, level up. And that's cultivating. It should be up. So let's take a look. Okay, that's where I make that 3,000 money. And new stuff in the shop. That's the Matsutake mushrooms. What I'm going to do tomorrow as well is buy some of those and actually put those um, all over. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's going to be amazing. All right. Here we go. Oh my god, hurry up, please. I'm at 111,000, by the way. Wow. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this leveled up. This is so much money. There we go. Level eight. Master cultivator. By this point on, this is going to be the last um, set of common mushrooms. I am upgrading to Matutake mushrooms, obviously. Um, so, let me show you how far I am now in 8. And what I got was cultivation consumes far less energy. Wow. Wasn't that good, but okay. Cool. Nice. Oh, what the hell? Wait, did I... Oh my god. You're all going to get ill in the comments. I left that. Totally left that one, huh? Oh well. Alright, so before I end this video, I would like to encourage you to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I do post multiple gaming videos daily, so be sure to check out my channel. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.